how to make models like this. Well, follow this tutorial and you'll find out. First thing you need to do is open your Paint 3D project. I've got a little sketch of my character at the left. First thing you're going to want to do is probably model the body. So you can need a hemisphere, which you can find in 3D shapes. This, this part. So you make the body. Then you're going to get the colour. Alright. And now what you have to do is you have to do the head. Just get the colour of your head and use a circle. Put the circle on the body of the character and then you have to drag it down. Next part you want to do is the hat if your character doesn't have a hat. Alright, so get the colour of the hat that you want and make a little circle like that. Extend it a little bit and make it face upwards like that. And then you want to get it sideways and just extend it a little bit. Go into the 3D view to the side. Then extend it out. Then you want to put it on your character's head like that. Then you want to get another circle of the same colour as the bottom of your hat. Create it and place it on your character's head. Now you've got to make it smaller. Okay, go into 3D for you. Go put it back a bit. Just barely enough so that it looks normal but not too cartoony. Now, all you want to do is build the legs and the bo lower body. So, get the color, make it barely just off the body, and have about there. Next, you want to create the legs. You get a cylinder, you drag it to the length of the legs, and basically you want to get it like that. Put it where you want the legs to be. I'm just going to move my model up a bit. I want to have the legs about that size. So you've got your first leg for the character. You want to control C, control V it, so you duplicate it. And now we have to make the face. So you go into the brushes part, select pencil, get whatever colour you want to have the outline be, and make the face. Then select, to do that, then you want to click this button here, 2D select, then make 3D, and then you can, oops, Something I forgot to mention is before you do that, you have to go into Canvas. You can make transparent canvas on. Then you do this. 2D select, make 3D. Now it's a 3D object, you can move around. And there you go. You have your character. Now you can probably get rid of this now. Erase. So now you want to click on menu, save as, image, make sure transparency is on, save as type, gif, ooh, something I just remembered about is if you want shade it, proper shading, go spray paint, <laughs> get the colour, click here then make it a little bit darker, then you do that's not dark enough, you've got to make it a bit more darker. And you basically just gotta spray paint the bottom. If you want to add other parts spray painted, 
and just rotate it. Keep on spray painting. Just keep on rotating and spray painting till you get to where I'm at and you're finished. Now you want to go up here, still with spray paint. Then you want to use the eyedropper and get that part. Oops, forgot to make it darker. And you just want to make that darker. Now you click menu, save as image, keep transparency on, GIF image, and I'll say. And And now I'm going to show you the final product. It should look something like this. And as you can see, you can look see it looks has the pixelated look as like as it does in the original model. I'll put a picture like here. And that's how you make a 3D oh, model of right. something from Dave and Bambi. Thanks for watching. Something I forgot to mention while recording is if you want shading more accurate to the actual game's characters. Turn it up to about 30. Go to the bottom here. Draw a line straighter than that would be better. And now you save as an image. Save. Make sure it's a GIF. Okay, and I'll show you the final product. Now it looks more accurate to the original game. You can see the pixels there. Thanks for watching.